So hey guys, it's your girl Truly Jam and today it's going to be, I'm going to be talking to you guys about um, my anemia. Um, I have been dealing with anemia for all my life. Um, anemia is not anything to play with. So I'm going to go over signs and what I'm doing today that's helping me to stay woke and get around and just have energy so for one i'm like not on a diet diet but i did cut back on a lot of things i've lost a lot of weight and um i was 502 and now i'm 310 or something like that 310 yeah and um i go to the doctor all the time so the symptoms of anemia is really kind of hard because they could be so many other symptoms. Um, the symptoms I was having was I was always tired. I would go to sleep, I would wake up, and I'm still tired. <clears throat> it wouldn't matter. And then these, the darkness around my eyes, um, that's from that. I know when my iron is very low because my eyes are always dark. Um... Let's see. Another thing I was having was my muscles. They would hurt. Um, my chest would be tightened a lot. And I would be shortness of breath, like, really bad. Like, like I could not breathe. Um, so, I always knew ever since I was younger that I had some kind of anemia because I had... A thing called pica pica is something that you crave because of a deficiency that you have in your body so the thing I would crave is cornstarch I would eat cornstarch by the box I mean like by the box and that was just one sign ice is another sign um, dirt some people eat clay some people, anytime you see somebody with a weird obsession, it's probably because they have low iron or they have a deficiency, which is basically still in the low iron department. So, <clears throat> when I got pregnant with my last son, um, I think that was God saving my life because when I went in, my blood was a four. They didn't even know how I was walking around so yes i had to get a fusion um well not a transfusion and they don't really like to do that when you're pregnant not back then i was in 2002 so i would have to do the iron they gave me pills and they also gave me the liquid iron the liquid iron tastes like you're drinking somebody's blood i really believe it was somebody's blood cause that's how it tastes but i was taking the liquid iron and doing iron pills and doing um and I was doing, um, um, I should have wrote it down because I forget a lot of stuff and I just had it in my head. Um, I don't remember what I wanted to say. But, anyway, if you haven't seen my last video, you should go watch it because that's why I can't remember a lot of things. But, um, I don't even remember what I was saying. Okay, so the iron. I'm just go with this because that's what I'm thinking about. Maybe I should write down stuff I'm thinking. Okay, so the iron. I have sickle cell trait. Not the full-blown sickle cell, but the trait. And one out of a billion people it affects. I am just one of those people that it affects like a symptom. So what they was trying to tell me is that I'll always need help with getting extra blood or replenishing my blood. Because they say we lose blood almost every day <clears throat> and while we're sleeping or something like that our blood regenerate and stuff like that mine doesn't do that so I'll constantly need help to get my blood to regenerate <clears throat> and stuff like that so what we're doing as per today is I'm doing bags of iron through IV so I will go in to the cancer specialist center where I live and it would take four hours out of my day 
I would sit there and they would pump it through slowly. Now this process has been working. It has been working, but I have been doing it for the last past two and a half years, doing six weeks on, a week or two off. And um, I must tell you, when you go into that process of getting iron free, oh, and I hate needles, guys. But if you're going through the process of getting iron, um, you have to chew on something because the your tongue, it'll feel funny and you'll have these bad tastes in your mouth for like a long time. Um, your bones, my bones hurt, I guess because they're pumping so much iron in me at one time. It's like the, the bags that you get a saline in your IV, like a drip, like when you dehydrate it, it's like that kind of bag. Um, and then before I take that, I would have to, I used to have to take um, Benadryl for any side effects and some other kind of medicine, but I can't take the Benadryl because it's in my sugar sky high and um, I can't take the other thing that they gave me because it makes me way too drowsy, way too dizzy and I just can't deal with it. So they have to give it to me straight and so I think that's why my bones hurt, my muscles hurt. Um, I feel a lot of cramping and stuff like that. So that has been working. My blood is going up and it's more than it's ever been. When I started this, it was a six. Um, now I am basically to like a seven, eight. It's hard to tell because they didn't know if it was my periods doing it. I was gonna have I was gonna have a hysterectomy, so they started doing tests. Um, they would have me to come in, take my blood. Oh, I see a hematologist too. Um, they would have me, they would come in, they would go in, take my blood before my period came on. And then after my period, I would have to go get more blood drawn. Now, I go to the doctor so much. I have so many different doctors and it takes so much different blood. I'm like, you know what, you guys, y'all are taking my blood. That's why I can't ha have no darn blood because y'all taking it. And I'm like, can't y'all use the same? Why? Tell me why. All these doctors they correspond with each other why they can't just do the same test and they all take the same test I went to one place and it took nine vials of blood nine nine vials of blood when I tell you I could barely get to my car I said ma'am you know I'm anemic I, I couldn't even get to my car I could barely feel my legs I had to sit there for 45 minutes before I could even move my leg I was so scared that scared me now that scared me so I this is just stuff I've been doing I haven't been talking to anybody I really haven't been telling anybody but if you guys know a solution to this if you know somebody that was dealing with this and what did they do I'm trying to eat liver I'm eating green leafy vegetables I'm doing all that but my doctor is telling me that no matter how much I eat those kind of foods, they help a little bit, but I still need help, bigger help, because my blood is so low. So, and I don't want a transfusion because I'm scared of those. I know somebody that had one and got something, and I'm just so scared of that. So, I'm trying to try this first, and, um... The doctor is also working with me because medical bills is very hard, especially when you have to pay a copay and your insurance don't want to pay for some of this stuff. And I have so many things wrong for me, wrong with me to where um, I need a little extra help because when I'm in the hospital or when I'm going through this stuff, I'm not making any money because I'm self, you know, if you're self-employed. If you're not make you know making any money then how are you gonna pay your stuff so yeah um like i said in the last video i'm doing a raffle you guys can send the money to cash out and i'm gonna pick um a winner at the end of the month well not this month but in of december and um you'll win a diamond painting whatever size diamond painting whatever picture you want me to do that's what i'll do either i can do it for you or you can do it for yourself because i don't just like the ads for handouts but I really do need help with medical bills and different stuff like that. Um, 
so I wanted y'all to do a raffle for that so you guys can get something out of it. But I really appreciate it because I know a lot of people was asking me, can they help and different things like that on Facebook. Like what can they do to help and stuff like that. So I don't like the asking you found out. So <laughs> if I do a raffle, I'll feel much better about it. Um, because, you know, it's nothing wrong with asking for help. Everyone needs help. And... A lot of people be too scared to ask for help, but what are you going to do when you have medical bills? You have to get this stuff done or it can get worse. Like in my situation, it's a lot of things I need to get done. I, I got to have surgery to take my tonsil out and all of that stuff. So <clears throat> I'm just going through a lot of stuff right now. I know you guys would never be able to tell and that's the way I love it. I love that. I don't like to be sad. I don't like to... I don't like to let my current situation dictate my feelings and how I feel, but some days are very bad. Some days are very bad. I can't even lie. Um, some days I'm in pain all day because my doctor wanted, he don't want to give me so much medicine. I'm on 18 different pills for eight different things. I take three different blood pressure medicines and he don't want to give me a lot of different things like that because in the pain pill he gives me because I be so in so much pain it puts me out like I'm out like for half the day it just it just knocks me out um I'm gonna get into the other on the other story about my blood pressure how it goes up like 250 to um 110 I mean it's like I just don't know one thing get fixed another thing go wrong and I just don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm turning 40 or what. But you guys, if you have any info on this iron thing, please leave it in the comment section below. Anything, any questions I should be asking them. I have been dealing with this for so long. I just, I just want to feel better. I want to wake up and just feel like a ball of energy all day long. Because that's what I feel like. That's what I feel like inside with the skin that we're in, this body. It doesn't some things you just can't do inside I can feel like I can run a marathon but on the outside I just cannot well should I say it on the other way around I don't, I don't know but yeah you guys I just want to share this part of this video with you um if you guys have any questions leave it in the comment below um, if you guys know anything about somebody or if you dealing with anemia, what are you doing and what can help? I would really 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 appreciate it And you guys please go ahead and buy a raffle you can donate a dollar Or as much as you want, but a dollar is what I'm gonna have is a fixed rate a dollar for one ticket So if you do $10 that's 10 tickets better chance for you to win and it's helping me out I would really really appreciate it Thank you guys. Like, share, and subscribe. Thumbs up this video. And as always, always, always have a blessed, blessed day. Bye.